and welcome to Baking with Nostalgia. Today, we're looking at the fix for Mondo's Rogue. These are the replacement parts that I got directly from Mondo. So if you weren't aware, this Rogue actually had some issues in her first release. Eyeball issues mostly, a little bit of paint issues on the body. So we're gonna dig into that and compare her to the new release. So let's start by looking at the head sculpts. Let's take a look at this head sculpt here. So if you look at the details, they seem very similar to what we got previously. The correction really is supposed to be the eyeballs. So honestly, I'm not 100% sure if I see a difference. So we got to compare them to the old one, which I have. The one on the right is what came to me first when we originally started getting this rogue figure. And the one on the left, that's the fix. So can we spot a difference? Honestly, <laughs> it is so subtle that it doesn't even matter. Now, when these came out, Mondo was asking for photos of everything, basically, to see if there were issues and to know how widespread this issue was. And then they would determine the replacements based on that. That is really why I have a body as well. And then these three heads. But the differences between these are so subtle, it's kind of wild. Now, I'll be honest, this old one isn't awful. The eyes certainly are in a different spot and as subtle as it may be looking at it close up, it's kind of clear when you just see it that this one looks a little off and this one feels right. It's amazing how much of a subtle difference that can make. It's like adding just a little too much sugar to your uh, the cooking. I, I, is this some, what was this whole metal metaphor? But I actually like the lips the paint on the lips of the original one better than this one. This one is like a little bit too much in the cracks of the mouth, but that's being super picky and I wasn't really even picky in the first place, but otherwise these head sculpts are identical. There's not a huge difference between them. Um, so let's move on. Up next, let's take a look at the angry face. This is the replacement head sculpt with the new paint and again, the new eyes. And this one is the old one. So let's, again, can we spot the difference between these two? Is it really just that subtle? Now the paint looks better around the lips on this one near the teeth than it does on the original one. But again, it's something so subtle that it's more obvious when it's wrong than when it's right. Ultimately, it's the eyes themselves, the whole paint section for the eyes were just too far to the sides and here they're right where they need to be and it's a little obvious if you look at the sculpt underneath of it and you see where the sculpt of the eye is supposed to be and then the paint just got shifted too far to the sides so overall replacement on the angry face is definitely an improvement now the last sculpt that we need to look at for the heads is going to be the winging face so let's take a look at that the fresh new one here looking real nice the paint looks good Nothing's uh, standing out as like an issue, which is good. That's what we want, right? And then here is the old one. The lipstick does look a little bit better around the edges, a little more rounded on the Cupid's bow of the lips, and uh, not a huge difference in the eyes. This is interesting. So I sent them photos of everything, and then they decided what needed to be replaced. And there was something about this one that needed to be replaced, and I honestly couldn't tell you what it is. Very, very slight, if anything. Does that mean that the replacement is bad as well or that the old one really wasn't a problem? I think the old one wasn't really a problem. And by the way, since I got you here, I actually cooked something up myself. Ooh, ooh, hot, 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 hot. That's right, it is hot. Check it out. We have two versions of our lovely Rogue available to purchase now. Link is in the description to pick up either this Rogue or this Rogue, which is my personal favorite. Nice. So two variants available now in my store, but wait, what's that? Ah, the toaster just toasted. Two magnet options are also available. So you can get Rogue available in 11 by 17 print or available as a magnet. Link is down in the description, of course. So now we need to take a look at Rogue's body. Okay, this is the replacement one, and this is the original one. Now, the original one did have some issues. The line work was mostly the problem, and there were a little bit of scuff mark 
issues going around. So let's see if we can find what those problems were originally, <laughs> because it's been a minute. I mean, overall, the black outlines for things like here just seem cleaner than they did on the original one. So they're a little bit thinner. They're more consistent. I don't know. Overall, the original one wasn't awful, but it had some inconsistencies in the paint thickness, like it was kind of sloppy a little bit in certain areas. The line work here between the colors was a little off. It's, it was just a little bit messy and didn't have that fine quality work that you expect with Mondo figures, especially at like over 200 bucks. Looking at the new one, I honestly think this thing is an improvement. It's all the paint is a more consistent layering and then the black outlines are nicer. So uh, it wasn't a huge issue with the original one for me. But again, it's one of those things where I just sent them photos. They decided this needed to be replaced. So I guess I have two rogue figures now. And I bet there's gonna be a lot of people that are getting replacement rogue bodies. So you can build two, you could do a custom paint job on one, or you could sell it. Just sell it at a discounted rate because it's obviously it's defective in some way. But there we have it, folks. Did Mondo do the right thing? Absolutely, man. I mean, they were on it immediately. Mondo is offering the best customer service from any line I've seen, period. They're fantastic. And we need more companies to take note of that. Beyond that, were the replacements worth it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't cost me anything. I had some issues with the eyes being spaced a little bit far apart. It was a little bit noticeable on some heads than others. But overall, I was happy with the first one. I loved this figure. And now Mondo has just made it even better. And not just because I have two of everything, but because it just looks that much better. It's a clean figure and I can't recommend it enough. So if you like this and you wanna see the original review of this Mondo Rogue, then click the top link right there. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.